My name is Cameron Isis, and welcome to this installment of LoopCore's Technical Bulletin. In this video, I will provide a brief overview of the LoopCore Mark II Trailer Timer. In this overview, I will cover timer power sources, general operation, and communication lights. To begin this overview, I will discuss the two possible power sources for the Mark II Trailer Timer. The timer can be powered by either the ABS, or anti-lock braking system, or second, the nose or junction box, which includes tail lights, brake lights, daytime running lights, or signal left and right. When the timer is connected to the ABS module on the trailer, it is provided with constant power. The timer only requires 500 milliseconds to activate the latching solenoid. When the timer is connected via the nose or junction box, it is provided with intermittently available power. This intermittent power is supplied when the brakes, daytime running lights, or turn signals are activated. The power received from either of these two sources, both ABS or the nose or junction box activates the timer and causes the latching solenoid to energize. The power required to maintain system service records and the real-time clock is provided by an onboard long-life lithium battery. The Mark II trailer timer is available in both 12 and 24 volt models. It has been specifically engineered to control the pneumatic piston pump designs that are common in the marketplace today. When the tractor is started and power is supplied to the trailer equipped with the timer, a green LED located at the top left corner of the controller cover will illuminate, confirming that the system has power. The green LED signifies that the programmed countdown or pause phase is in process. When the equipment is shut down, the timer records the latest pause phase data in its memory, and when the equipment is started again, it begins its countdown from this point. After the pause phase has been concluded, the timer program will send a signal to engage the latching solenoid. This is the beginning of the working phase. During the working phase, the yellow LED in the timer cover will illuminate. At the conclusion of the working phase, the timer engages the solenoid again, returning it to its original position and ending the lubrication cycle. The LubeCore Mark II trailer timer is equipped with a viewing window that allows the observation of three LEDs mounted on the controller, one green, one yellow, and one red. As stated earlier, the green LED will illuminate continuously to signify that the timer has power. The yellow LED is a quick visual indicator that the automated lubrication system is in cycle. The red LED will illuminate when an alarm has been registered by the timer. This could be either a pressure alarm or a low lubricant level alarm. These alarms are also recorded by the timer in its internal memory. For information regarding how to access this memory, watch the LoopCore video 103.3. Thank you for joining us today. For more information regarding the LoopCore Mark II trailer timer and its possible applications for you, please contact LoopCore International. Have a nice day.